I'm Daniel Foley from the Midlife Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about walking together with God. So Amos 3.3, 3, it says, Do two men walk together unless they've made an appointment? And that word for appointment, it actually means, another translation could be agreed. Do two men walk together? That word for together in the Hebrew could be united. Do two men walk united together? Unless they've made an appointment, unless they've agreed, unless they've gotten together, they've come to an agreement. And we've been talking this month in June of 2023 about walking in God's best today. Now, we talked about how Abram got the call from God. He got the call. That word in Hebrew for the call of Abraham is the word halak, which means to go. It also means to walk with. It's the same word used here for the word walk. The two men go together. Do they follow through together? Do they walk together? Unless they have an agreement, unless they have an appointment, unless they have an arrangement together. And we talked about how Abraham was given that call. Solomon was given that call by his father, David. We've been given that call. We've been given that call to follow after Jesus. And then eventually Abraham goes on to, it says, God told him to walk before him, to walk before his face. And Solomon was given that same charge from God. And if they would do so, then they would be established by God. Abraham would be established in the covenant. Solomon's throne would be established. And then we've been talking about this week on our weekly yearly cycle updates in our program, The Abundant Life Blueprint, about how God is always on time and keeping in step with the Spirit. He's got a perfect timing. He's got a rhythm. There's a harmony to this. Our life is like a beautiful song. And if God played the right note, but he pr played it at the wrong time, it wouldn't sound right. It wouldn't look right. And so we can have this unity together where we walk together with God, but I think it's important that we have an agreement. we got a unity. we got an appointment with him. I think it's something very practical we could do. Think about it where you got an appointment to walk with God every day. Actually, we go physically, we teach in our program to go physically go for walks with him every day. Just walk with him, talk with him, pray with him, meditate with him. And it's amazing if you'll do that, if you'll prioritize that appointment with him, how much more efficient he'll make you in the rest of the day. But we're going to get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ and to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today and help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes and do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're asking for your help today. 
Help us to walk together with you in the timing that you have for us. Help us to get into that beautiful rhythm, that beautiful timing together with you so that we walk united with you in all your ways. We walk with you, we walk before you the way that you intended. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. And you raised us up together with him. And made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today. To remember. To remember our union with you. We've been made one with you. Through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. And after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father, this partnership with you. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, so usually after a time of communion, we talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. Now, I view physical exercise, one of the greatest opportunities to just connect with God, experience him flowing through you, experience him doing that work through you. And I think the same thing holds true. We can have an appointment every day. You can have an appointment with yourself every day to prioritize that workout because all kinds of things will try to exalt themselves as more important than going for a walk with God. To try to exalt themselves is more important than taking care of your physical exercise and physical health. we got to make sure to prioritize those things. Now, my typical pattern, I like to do them together. I like to do my workout first. Do my physical workout first, and then I like to go with, for a walk with God after the workout is the way that I typically like to do it. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about our program, The Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.